Hi everyone, so you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is part of our Live Wire Crunch series. I thought it would be best if we add Sweet Alert 2. If you have this tool in your belt as a developer, it will help you a great deal. So I think I'm going to add that. So in order to, let's quickly edit this. We're still going to use the edit, so don't mind me for now. So we're still going to create this functionality, but I just wanted to show you, as you can see, a toaster pop up right there. So let's quickly change this to something else. As you can see, right now it gives us that toaster notification right there. All right, so I will quickly, I'll leave a link in the description for Sweet Alert 2, right? So in order to get there to do installation, all you do is you go to installation in the menu right there. You will see, I'm not gonna use the CDN, for testing purposes, this is quite nice, but if you're gonna do a production app, I recommend to use NPM to install it. All right, so let's quickly go do that. So we're gonna do NPM install, so copy that part. All right, so in your application, what you do is you open up your terminal and you paste it in there and then you press install. All right, so now that it's all finished, the next thing we need to do is we need to add it to our JavaScript file. So under resources, JS, app.js, right here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say import. All right, we're going to import swell sweet alert from, and then we can just say sweet alert to the one that we just installed, like that. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit darkened compared to the other one. It's because we haven't used it yet. In order to use it, what we're going to do is we're going to say window dot swell is going to equal to sweet alert two. So as you can see, it lightens right now. All right, so the next step, so after we've done this, save that, and then you open up your terminal again. All right, and then we do npm run dev. Okay, just like that. So do that so what will happen is it will compile that sweet alert to be part of alpine js and with your javascript files that you already have okay so it will compile the bootstrap alpine js with sweet alert to so as you can see it's successful so basically what will now happen is it will go to the public folder under js it will be part of that js file right there so now we can use it all right, so the next thing we want to do, if you want to customize anything inside your sweet alerts, like colors or anything like that, and as we're using Tailwind, in order to do that, we go to resources again, CSS and app CSS, okay? So if you want to style or do anything like that, okay? So what we do is we add for Tailwind, we add an add layer, okay? We set that to base. Okay, and now the first thing in here is basically the name of the component that you're targeting. In my case, I want to target the icon success. So what I want to do is I want to add a dot swell to okay forward slash toast. And then we can add the swell again to and then we can because they will all be in the same line and then I just want to go for the icon success right so obviously you can do the warning one all that kind of stuff i will leave a link in the documentation and you guys can go and read up further like that all right so in here i just want to apply so this i'm just want to apply tailwind classes so i'm using and apply right here and let's say you want to change the toaster's background color to be something else so we can say just say bg blue bg red or whatever the case might be and the next thing is, this is quite important, just add the important flag right here as well. All right, so that it makes use of that. Okay, but don't leave, don't leave any spaces between them. Okay, so if you type them in, don't leave a space like that because it will treat this as a child of this class. Okay, so what we want to do, they need to be close together because they're going to be on the same line. All right, just like that. All right, and after you finish with that, you can just do npm run dev again okay just like this all right so npm run dev all right so then it will give you also a success message and now you can basically if you want to add more styles for your toaster you can do that in here all right so let's close this off 
Now we haven't created this yet, but I just wanted to show you the added one. So I just want to show you how to actually send it to the toaster. All right, in order to send a message, we will normally would have done a session and then we just would have flashed the session like this. All right, we would have done this. All right, so this is what we would have normally have done. So we would set session flash with a success message. But this is not going to work for us because we kind of want to be responsive and all the kind of things. So I'm not going to use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like we did right now. We installed Swedelet. So basically what we do is we will dispatch a browser event. Okay. And you can name this whatever you want because this is the event that we're going to listen to. Now in this case, I'm sending an updated event. Okay. The title will be tag updated. The icon will be a success icon. Let me just quickly show you the sweet alert icons. Right, so if you come to the documentation right here, let me make it a bit bigger. You will go to icons. You will see in the menu right there, you go to icons. And as you can see, there's a success one. There's an error one. There's a warning, info, and question. Right, so the one that I said is success right there. And the icon color right here, I want it to be green. All right, so this is the event that we're dispatching. So, all right, so the next thing is we need to listen for that. So, if we go to the edit, all right, so I push the scripts to the stack scripts in the layout, but I'm going to show you that in a second. Then we're going to say window.add event listener. Then we're going to listen for that event. Okay, we're going to listen for that updated event. All right, and then we create a function with the event parameter. Okay, and then we get that sweet alert, then we fire off this right here. Now, the first thing is the title. All right, the title is the title that we're passing in here. Okay, the icon is the icon that we're passing in here. And the color is the one that we're passing in here. There's obviously more that you can do, but I just wanted to show a limited amount in here. And then you can have the time of how long the toast notification to appear. And right now we set it to three seconds. All right. So just think of it counts in milliseconds right there. And the toast, if you set this to false, it will be a big block. If you set to a toaster, it's just a small little snippet. And then we set the position to top right. You can have, let me just quickly show you the positioning. All right. The next thing you're going to do in order to just view the the positioning, you're going to go to configurations right there. And if you go down a bit, you will find positioning right here. Then you can see the different positions it can be in. As you can see, top, top, start, top, end. I will leave a link in the description. So if you guys want to go and read more about that. Okay. All right. And the next thing is we have a timer of the progress bar to let us know how many seconds or milliseconds is the left of the toaster to be there so if it's after three seconds the basically the toaster disappear and this is show confirm button so if you want to actually let someone click ok or anything like that you can just uh, enable this and set it to true all that kind of stuff right so this is just that episode about uh, sweet alert 2 we're going to use it quite a bit and i use it quite a bit Right, so it's a very, very, very useful tool to use and to have in your belt and to know how to use it. Right, so that's an end of this episode, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave it to me in a comment section. And what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to create the edit form. So in order to actually edit a tag. Thank you, guys, and see you in the next one. Adios.